What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Glory in Paradise with Monaco. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the series, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new to this channel as well to see daily episodes on this series. So, down below are the usual links to my social links to my Discord and Twitter um, and Instagram. Also, the second channel is down there. And also Twitch channel live on Fridays, Saturdays and Tuesdays, work and football, football watching permitting, permitting. And also the podcast, my night, that, my night is down there as well. So stay on the page Lucas Romero. Because again, I remember when I signed him, I remember saying to you guys, he was a pivotal part of my team previously. And he is again at the moment, he is again um, a pivotal part of my team. Um, just where the work he does off the ball I'm seeing is very, very handy. Also, there's actually news on Bakayoko as well, which can't show anything, but they are he's still with the requirements, so I'm going to try and get a deal with him in January, I think, because I think a box to box replacement with Lucas Romero is definitely something I want. Um, and I'm still working on the background stuff um, I talked about last episode. So, how's the Gizzo camera? Interesting. Let's get to them. Nice 5 2 goes from Batishelli. Can't pronounce his name. Depay with two belters and George got two goals as well. Um, they got injury late on 26 shots, 10 on target. A dominant performance and a very good result. And the goals are flowing. Nice to see. Beat FC Nantes 2 0. Balde and Martins with the goals. And very quick succession, which is nice to see. Bangenda got injury in this game, which is a bit annoying. Um, but again, this time 28 shots on goal, but 8 on target. Not great kind of conversion. Um, and, yeah, they weren't really a threat in the whole match, really. Just the only downside was they were scored two. Beat Zenit 2-1 in Champions League. Goals under Pai and Martins again. Um, I would say even game, but apart from the one chance they scored, I didn't feel there was a goal in Zenit. Um, and, obviously, at 2-1, it's a bit edgy and you're a bit nervous and that kind of thing. But two wins out of two in the Champions League, massive start for us. Massive moment for us. Then beat Bordeaux 2-1. I don't know how I won this game. Uh, it, I think a draw is probably a fair result. The Pine got an early goal. And then we got a man sent off for a straight red card. It was Diego um, Ribeiro who got sent off. And then somehow Dries Mertens managed to get one back. Make it two, oh, sorry, get, get another one. Make it 2-0. And that was the winner, essentially. They got one, they got one back instantaneously. But yeah, they were, they were all over us in this game. We just couldn't really do anything. Obviously, the 10 men didn't help in the second half. But... That kind of result could prove to be quite vital um, as we go into the next part of the season. So, the detail looks like this. We are currently two points clear of PSG. You, I think, won on, they drew on Friday night. So, a win today against the team, which is mid-table, would be a massive result for us in the title race. We're unbeaten as things stand. But we're not, at times, blitzing teams all the time. There's a lot of game in there where we really, it really clicks for us. But hopefully... Um, that happens today. The Champions League group is looking very good right now. Uh, we're playing uh, today our second games against Galatasaray. A win in that game today and any kind of result in the Chelsea... I, I do a Chelsea win if someone has to win that game or a draw and we're looking really good for Champions League qualification. Um, I did say that target was third and I still maintain that because this could change and a diamond performances drop off for some, for some reason. But we're looking really good right now. So let's go to uh, the team selection for today's match and let's see who's available fitness wise. I want to rest Rodriguez, but I can't really. Jameson's back in the in the team because we've had issues with Vidlinoff who's suspended. Mel's in the team, that's fine. And uh, I'm going to play Mertens as a dance forward. Schneiders are struggling to score at the moment, um, generally. Uh, ben Yedder and Mertens not really been prolific right yet, right now. But anyway, let's get to action shot. First game episode, hopefully. Three points. They've been massive three points. Again, the aim is still terms of qualification. We're not biting on the fact that we've got a great start. This is only the only thing I'm thinking about this about this great start is the fact that it means that Champions League football is more 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 more, more likely again. So um let's give hands to the praise. Yeah, let's go guys. First game episode, hopefully three points and some goals. Oh great pass from the defender there, and then on goal straight away here. But it, it, we did this a lot in the last game. We did give away a lot of balls in bad areas. Just single passes given away badly. And it, it, it almost cost us a problem against Bordeaux. But on the box of Jones, because it's clear. Henry is on the ball now. He's got options left and right. Pick a pass to somebody. Finds Mertens. And that's a poor, that's a poor option there. Just Gilson. Samara. Good ball to Henrik. Space based on the right hand side. Finds Gilson. And Pancheria. And makes it 1 0. 
it's literally the first shot of the game, and it's 1-0 Monaco. Um, he had a few of those against Bordeaux, I think, in that kind of area, and he didn't quite find the finish. Um, but again, I point out again, look at the fullback and the lack of... It. We, we, benefit, we benefit from it. On a, I can't talk today. We benefit from it today. What if from Gelson Martin makes it 1-0, keeping his hand to it as well, but good strike from the from the Portuguese winger, and he makes it 1-0, and the crowds definitely get more f- fuller in the in the game, in the stadium out there. Not many in the ball, not many highlights though, but on the box here, picked on, but is she, again, picks it on, throws it 2-0! He had like three bites of the cherry there, and he's finally found the back of the net, 2-0, literally been two highlights in the whole game, I think, in terms of recording, and we've scored from both of them. Good little ball in the box, that kind of range, winner there, cleared, heads it again, and it's clear of the same guy. Then he goes, you know, I'm going to volley this. I'm going to volley this time. Finds that near post. 2-0. This could be a very special season if this continues, but let's just wait and see. It'd be great to get a third goal and give a rest to Rodriguez a little bit. I don't know why we're not pressing, pressing here a bit more because, again, it's just like a pressing there on the pitch. But she wins it back. Finds Rodriguez. Now Samari. Now Depay. Samari. Romero. Samari. Depay. Samari again, the fullback completely unmarked. In the box was Gilson. Cleared. He's got it back to Henriks. Can he beat his man off on a cross? No, Gilson, can he can he do it? He can, but he's not gonna find it with Henriks. Rodriguez is free! <laughs> I think it literally could be three highlights in his first half commentary, and it's three goals. Three nil in the first half. Three shots on target, three goals. I mean, that's clinical finishing, but again. We see that a lot in FM, don't we? That the one shot on target thing. Now we, we, we've got a like, shooting level here. Henrik's good hit by Rodriguez. And this could be any score right now because every time we shoot, it's going back in the net. Does he get a striker a goal now? Which is the only thing we're missing from in this performance is Mertens to get a goal because strikers cannot score the minute for me, which is bizarre. Henrik's. Can we get the ball forward here? It's, it's just a really good start to the season and. I was worried about like the Champions League football being an issue for us. Doesn't seem to be affecting us at all, does it? Riguez, Samare, George. Come on, get Mertens a goal. Just get a strike, get Mertens a goal. George can beat his man, though he can't. Long ball the pitch, win that, Jimison. Oh, sure, ball that, man. you got to be, you got to just... Can you... Don't look and see the goal, don't look and see the goal, don't get him back into the game. Over the bar. Just there, a bit more physicality with Jimison there. Just like, you know, unsettling a little bit. Unsettling a little bit. But what a half that is. Six shots on goal, three on target, all gone back in the net. Just no goals for the strikers yet. But I'm going to say assertive and don't get complacent. I've got to say it because if I don't say it, I'm always paranoid. They're going to mess up. So, yeah, 3-0. C- keep going and get more goals. Corner kick for Rodriguez to take. Swings in penalty area. Mittens! Just can't find that goal, can he? Throw in here. And Mitt take Rodriguez off now, actually. That's after his highlight. Romero. Samare. Swings that right to George. He's got acre space again and shoots. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take him off now. We're three nil up. They're not a fair. I'm gonna put the pie in that position because again, Gummer's not fit right now. Put Baldi on the left hand side just because he's, look, he's looking a bit of fitness anyway. And Champions League is also really important. And I might take off Mertens and bring on Pellegrini. Pellegrini, um, just to see if you know the youngster get some mates on the pitch. And mix again. The passes like that just stop playing those. Stupid passes, pay it simple. No need to launch it forward there. Then on goal here again, a good save. It's down to the fact that I think those cross field direct passes seem to get cut out quite a lot this year. Um, there's three teams now I've managed on FM this year long term, and they all do the exact same thing. Um, well, that's a, definitely a thing that happens more. They're great. Oh, never mind. Well, what a result this is. This is a fantastic result for us. Um, Mary in the box, Pedigree, Samari, Gelson, and that should be full time. And it is. A fantastic result for us. I mean, what can you say? We're five points clear now of PhD, if my, my, if my math is correct. A passionate, very pleased result in performance. We managed to get Riggs a bit of rest as well. That's five points clear, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure at math, so I don't, I don't use my fingers. So, yeah, one more game to go through now. We've got, um, who is it next in Champions League? We've got Gatasaray. Let's get to it. So, guys, match to number two. I'm looking at fitness of uh, Gomez on the bench. And I'm not quite sure if... I... The only problem I've got with the bench is... I don't have a CM and an AMC. 
player who can play both roles. So that would cover both areas. So I'm kind of going with Ribeiro there. He can play there, but he's not exactly brilliant there. So a Jaik or something like that would be fantastic. Obviously, I can't get him. Um, but a CM slash Cam. I may have to look. May have, may have, may get this guy looking for that kind of thing actually. Once I get all sorted out, so looking at the in the workings and working things out a little bit. So um, I'm going to keep going on the bench. Oh, oh, not on the bench for this one, sorry. Um, Rodriguez is okay, I think, fitness-wise. Actually, you know what? No, I need to see him on the bench. Yeah, so I think an AMC, you can play CM as well. It's definitely something I need to get. Um, and then I'll have a look and see who, who, who we can find, who can play that role. So, oh, oh my old friend Falcao. Odds name scoring, folks. Let's find out. Um, let's carry on straight where you left off. Yep, go with that. A win today in the Champions League game, and this could be a massive state of qualification. Um, but we'll see. Um, they not been in, that performance last game was incredible. How quick, how, how amazing we were. We don't often do it twice in a row, though. We'll see if we can do, see that change today. The pie, Samari, Rodriguez, Mertens. It's a it's a bit of a frantic start here at the game. Rodriguez. Um, look at the football. There we go, George again in this space. The pie. Okay. Uh oh, Falcao's on the ball now. He, oh, he he likes me. Please don't score. Jemison, I mean, just want to get a no win here because it feels like Chelsea are going to win their game. I think isn't it? You probably fancy him to do that. Girls on the right hand side. Beats his man. He's in the penalty area. Can find a cross in the box. He did eventually, but yeah, this feels like the crosses are a bit meh. Um, on the box, Mertens far post. Matt Romero. Memphis Depay, beat your man. Samare, Romero, it's it. Oh, he has. I meant with power, but okay. Henriks. Rodriguez picks it on. Murder's in there. Romero. Rodriguez. Romero! I tell you, he's actually a threat. You know, he generally is. He's, he's, he's playing exactly like he did in the previous versions of the game when I had him. He's just very, very good in what he does. Gelson. Rodriguez. Mertens. Henriks. It is... Very encouraging, but a bit more composure in the final third. Again, this should be switched switch to play. Great ball. Mertens is through. Offside, though. For all of these guys, they find that, they find that bit of coin and get that goal. Um, again, the striker not offering anything in the final third, though, for us. Will Jemison is onside. Mertens, I think. Can he finish it? He can. He's offside, though, isn't he? Oh, he is. Damn it. This can't get a goal, these strikers at the minute, and it's not it's not a tactic because it works with strikers. We saw it before. Just he's got these like not great at the minute. But if it's if no problem we've got is that we just can't score the goals and we dominate teams and don't concede many, damn damn it, I'm fine with that because we can just buy a better striker who finds fits the system, fits system better if we if we can. Um, the only danger is that we start losing confidence in scoring generally. Riguez, George. Mertens, they're getting the chances though. There's no, there's no converting them. Just find that goal. Rodriguez, Henriks, Gilson Martins, Memphis Depay. So many chances. Henriks, Gelson again. Down the right hand side. Henriks, in the box. Cleared. Smarry. Mertens! Is he onside? I'm waiting to see. I think he is. Yes, finally. <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure based on our look for striking strikers at the minute. Um, Henrik's good ball in. Uh, well, lofty ball, I should say. And then poor defensive header. Samari plays it down. He's definitely on side Mertens. First time shot from Dries Mertens. Makes it 1-0 against Gartasaray. And it's definitely deserved on the balance of play. And this team is exciting exciting and fun to manage at the minute. But it could all change in a second, couldn't it? Knowing me. Um, you've all seen my series and my Twitch streams. And that's half time as well. I want to keep talking. So the only downside this first half is the lack of composure in front of goal. But a striker scored a goal. That is a positive. So assertive. Guy against complacency. Keep it going. Get a couple more. Or this I, I this scenario, we score four. Last minute of the game, Farkhouse scores one. But no matter could probably score, he'll probably score one, one nil and equalise. <laughs> Crowd for kick, curled in. Lindelof, if he scores this, we may go nuts in the comment section. Lindelof crosses it into Romero, far post. Tell you what, he didn't score the goal, and we almost got an assist for Romero, though. But again, that's powerful shots. 
it just kills it in, and Lindelof chasing after it again. He's everywhere, that bloke. Blander. Uh, oh, Lin Victor, Victor, Victor. He had your beat there, mate. But, oh, no, no yellow card. That's fine. Corner kick. Blander kills it in. Flicked on. Like I said, conversion chances. Get a second goal. We need it. So we're going to take off Martins and bring on Dembele and Balde on for the pie. And... Yeah, that'll have to do for now. I may, I may make one more change in the set back position or right back. But right now, I'm going to make two changes wide and see that see if that helps us. Free kick in a decent area here. And the fact that they're showing this as a highlight indicates something bad's about to happen. He was taking the free kick, though. It's by hander. Uh oh. Cleared it! This is, what I mean about, this is what I mean about we need to get more consistent scorers, because strikers, and conversion more because we can't keep doing this. Eventually, someone will score past the day. Remember, today actually it happens. But again, Merton's looking, looking, looking interested in that ball. But yeah, they seem to be on it in front of goal more because too many games have been too, been too close for comfort. Last minute free kick. Cleared. Behind it. Yeah, where are you going, lads? They all went the opposite. Wow. They all went. They he went four. They went. I'll talk to that back um, when I did anything, but it looked like. He went towards our net, and they went back towards theirs. Um, get the win, though. Deserved. Massively deserved. But that last bit, when the, he went towards our net, and they went on unison in one line, forward towards the halfway line, like, dude, not another Henrik against a PSG situation. But good results. Amazing result, actually, based on the, in more, more in terms of where we are in terms of qualification from the group. Um, but let's have a look at the math, because... There's only two games left. There's only three games. There's three games left. We are currently eight points clear. Yeah, of Zen. so. We're at Chelsea playing right. Let's get Zen Let's get the Chelsea game on. Ideally, a draw would be fantastic in that game. It's probably gonna be Chelsea win. We should. We should Chelsea won two 0 That's fine. That's fine. So I don't think it's secure qualification for us yet. But let's look at the math. Um. Yeah, so we get a win against... Is it Galatasaray again we play again? Here it is. We beat Galatasaray. And assuming... Yeah, if we beat Galatasaray and then Chelsea beat Zenit, that's it done. Or, or if they get a draw, I think it's done as well. So, in terms of the next live com, it depends what happens in that Champions League group, to be honest with you. If we somehow have secure qualification... I'm not fussed about showing where we're finishing the table at like first, first or second. But if we get the qualification done in that game there, I'll just do the Lille game. Because Chelsea game is not that important. Because regardless of who we get in the next round, it's going to be a tough match anyway. So it's not really important if we get first or second, really. Um, so we'll do the Lille game on its own. Um, and then if we get qualification done, that is. If it's not done, we'll do Chelsea together. But it most likely, if we beat we get us around and get the results we need. It'd be Lille at home, and then we'll do probably PSG at home. Um, we could do Lyon together, but I think PSG, the big title clash, I'd rather show more of that game than the, the Lyon game, which in, they are fourth in the table. So, yeah, where I start this when we're having, guys, it's going really well, really well right now. Just a bit, few tweaks here and there in the finishing department, and everything will be sorted. But overall, very positive. I'll see you next time, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. I'll see you for more next time. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.